everybody, welcome back. It is I, Sean, the American in Krakow, riding his motorcycle. And as you can see, I'm riding my motorcycle. The sun is out, the roads are dry, I am in a good mood. We are off to a... I'm not going to say we're off to a breakfast or lunch adventure. I am going to go eat, because it is lunchtime. But, uh... So we're, gonna back, we're back to a Bagel Mama. Uh, try that falafel burger. Oh, this jacket is really... What's going on? Am I stuck on something? There we go. So yeah, heading back there. And, uh, gonna try out that falafel burger. With the sriracha mayonnaise that he, uh, promised. And hopefully a slice of cheesecake. Uh, then after that, I'm gonna be heading to Bistro the Hours to help my friend Chef Diana. She is, or uh, the restaurant hotel is, they're filming a commercial, I guess? Or shooting a commercial? I'm not sure. Either way, she asked me to help out, be an extra. Um, she even wants, I think she wants me to ride my bike in one scene. We'll see, I don't know. Um, then I will also, I'm gonna try and make it to my buddy's shop. Uh, Swavik shop, the uh, Defender, Motor They go by both names. Um, Anyway, yeah, I gotta go to Swavex to uh, order brake pads. I need rear brake pads for the bike. Um, that was the only good thing about my service today. I am actually still kind of upset about that. I really feel like they um, they tried to throw my buddy Adam under the bus. And and uh, I don't know why they would want to do that. Or I mean, they could be a bit petty there sometimes. I've never been a fan of their service. That's why I don't let them do the service on my bike. But, uh, you know, I had my buddy Adam do the service. And I helped him out a little bit with it. So, I, you know, I can acknowledge that I threw a bit too much oil in the bike. When I was feeling, you know, I... Oh, you stopped. There you go, buddy. I, I put too much oil in the bike. I put probably, like... I think I put four liters in, and you're supposed to put three and a half. So in the end, we, you know, we didn't ride the bike, we didn't do anything, we started it, we checked the levels, okay, there's too much oil. We, uh, we drained it. Not all of it, we dropped about 500 mil. Maybe a little less. And, um, the, you know, there's a marker, there's a window on the side of the bike that lets you see your oil, so you don't have to, like, do a dipstick check. And then there's a range, you know, a max, max and minimum range within the window. And we drained it until we were just sitting at the max level. Not above it, sitting really just on it. Flat surface, off the paddock stands, everything. Cleaned up the bike afterwards, you know, because we're draining oil and we're doing it slowly. So there's a little bit of oil that's going to drip from the plug. You know, he took a, a little technical benzene, sprayed it out there, wiped it down with a rag. All good. So I took the bike in yesterday just for them to stamp the book. And the mechanic or I guess the lead mechanic. He's like, oh, let me, let me, I gotta check the bike out. No, I was like, no problem, no big deal. You know, nothing wrong with having another set of eyes check out your bike. Then um, he comes back and he's like, oh, your bike is leaking oil. And I'm like, um, wow, okay. And he breaks me down to the workshop and, and, and he kneels you know, by the bike and he wipes his finger under the bike right by where the rear drain plug is and he shows me oil and not not like old cruddy thick baked in dirt oil like it was pretty wet looking oil so like a, a good leak like a good drip and i'm like oh okay maybe we didn't uh maybe we didn't tighten that one back to spec after we drained the oil because i remember we definitely tightened it to torque specs originally and then when we had to drain some of the oil, maybe, and I'm just saying really generously, maybe we didn't torque it back, that one plug back to spec. And I said that, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe, maybe it wasn't tightened all the way. Like, oh no, it's a big problem. I'm like, no, we put new crush washers, everything. That's, it's probably just a loose bolt. But yeah, you know, I, I didn't think anything extra of it. Then, uh, you know, I proceed to sit there and wait for almost four hours while they then, you know, because they had other bikes that they had to service. They had a schedule, and mine wasn't on that schedule. But, uh, you know, I, 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 wasn't, I still wasn't upset about it. I was hanging out at the dealership. You know, I was sitting on cool bikes, you know, taking some photos of some bikes. 
I wasn't angry. And then, you know, we, they finished their little inspection and we uh, part ways. And then I got weed. I went to my buddy Andre's restaurant, Hilo, which is always, you know, a place I go to when I'm, I just want to feel better. I always feel good when I leave that place. So I went there and I ate and I felt great. And then I got home. And then I got upset all over again about the service. So I park my bike indoors. I park it in an indoor garage. I have one spot in the garage and, and I have a car. So what I actually do is I park it right in front of the car. Um, and, you know, right in front of the car at the bumper, at the front bumper of the car. Say, I mean, I park in the same place every day. It's like clockwork. You can actually see the marks from my kickstand on the ground, and they're all within a few inches of each other. So, that being said, I didn't ride the bike all week. Yesterday was the first day in days that I rode the bike. And if I had a drip that was a leak that was as aggressive as what he showed me, you know, I should have had a puddle of oil under my bike, or at least where I parked my bike. And you know what I didn't have? Oil. The ground was dry and dusty. And that's when it hit me. These guys might have just opened the bolt. And not, not the head mechanic. I don't think he did it. I think the mechanic that was actually working on the bike. I don't know if he doesn't like my buddy Adam or what. Because he used to work there. But I feel like maybe he opened the, the plug just a little bit to let a little oil out. And then show that it had a drip. I've got photos. I took photos last night after I got home showing that the ground under my bike, where I park every day, is completely bone stock dry. Like, it's dusty. You can wipe your hands and get dust on it. Dry, crusty dust. And then it hit me. I'm like, wow, what if this guy, if this guy was willing to do that, what if he also put a little extra oil in just to make it look like Adam overfilled the bike? I, I, I'm pissed. I'm pissed about it. Um... Am I going to say anything to them about it? Not about that. I don't have any, I don't have hard evidence about that, right? I mean, I do have the photo of the lack of oil under my bike. But what I am going to talk to them about is them adjusting my clutch cable and then not warning me about it. This road boy. And now I gotta stay on the inside of this one because there's a big hole somewhere. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to them about the adjusting of the clutch cable because that really almost got me in some trouble with a tram. So, not happy about that. But I'm not gonna say anything else. I've got, you know, winter's here. So, uh, it's almost here. I'm clearly not gonna ride in the snow. I already said that. Um, but, you know, my warranty expires in June, I believe. So, once the, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll stick with them until the warranty is fully expired. Because they're the only uh, Indian service center in the area. I mean, the next one is far away. And then uh, I'm done with them. I'll just let my buddy Adam continue to do the services and, and any other work. I don't know. That, I'm just I'm sorry I'm ranting. It really, really irritated me. Really irritated me. Like, and then it, it's not like I'm not going to use or continue to work with my buddy Adam. He's my buddy. And I totally respect the work he does. I try to send as much people his way as possible. Whoa, whoa, what's going on there? So his, the one guy's opinion, or him trying to sabotage that setup, like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm too smart. I'm not going to fall for your bullshit. Wow, did somebody just try to pull off on me in the light? I heard tires squeal. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Maybe it was on the other side of the road.
but we'll see. But uh, yeah, anyway, enough bullshit ranting, raving. I am gonna go and get my falafel burger, if there's any left. Because <laughs> it's late. I mean, it's lunchtime. I mean, will he make a burger for breakfast? I don't know. They close at three, so yeah, they might they might just make it from the morning. I didn't think this through. Hmm. Well, hopefully there's a burger when I get there. And hopefully a slice of cheesecake. Because this is later than it was yesterday, and they had already sold out of the cheesecake, so. But I did eat a brownie, and the brownie was good. It was nice to eat a proper brownie again. Anyway, we're here. I will... Not gonna, I'm not going to take any footage from the inside. Uh, we did that yesterday. But uh, I'm going to go enjoy this burger and then message my friend Diana and see what's up with the uh, commercial. I'll check you guys later. Peace. All right, welcome back, everybody. We just finished our uh, falafel burger bagel thing over at uh, Bagel Mama. It was exactly as promised. I am quite satisfied with that. I believe I'm supposed to make a left here. No. I guess it wanted me to make a left back there. I don't normally go this way. Anyway, I just finished off that bagel and it was spot on. Even had it with a brownie again. Posted a photo of that on my uh, Insta. Maybe I'll get one in the, in the video too. But it's a proper, proper bagel, a uh, proper brownie. But unfortunately there was no cheesecake. So, you know, there's that. So now we're heading off to my buddy's uh, Slavic shop. I need to order uh, some brake pads. The BFTR, and uh, I'm gonna check to see if they have a a belt loop, like a snap-on belt loop. Usually, you see them for like keychains, like they uh, snap around the belt, and then they have like a brass hook for you to snap and unsnap or unhook keys on. Uh, I had one. I used it for my hat and my gloves, but uh, the snap eventually gave out. It was a cheap one. I picked it up at like a motorcycle rally somewhere. All right, this lady's crossing. She has the right of way. You're here. Well, we are here. Maybe I'll talk to him, see if I get some footage inside. But for now, I'll check you guys later. Peace. <laughs>